Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome back to Art Class with Christy. Yay! We are in painting mode today. Can you see? I've already made a mess with my hands, which I kind of really like. So, this is what we're going to do today. We are going to paint these really cool swirly flowers. If you can't use paint or you don't have paint, you can totally um, use pencil, textile, oil pastel, if you have oil pastel crayons, whatever you have, you can use. We're going to have a quick draw. We do not need a practice draw, I remembered. Um, I need to, to tell you what, you what you need. So today I've got some of my paint in my ice cube tray because I've, I've always got paint in the ice cube tray. And I have actually put some greens, some pretty greens on a paper plate because I'm giving you a clue with what we're going to use to paint today. I'm going to use my hands. I would love for you to use your hands as well. I love painting with my hands. We're going to paint the background with our hands. If you don't like painting with your hands, that is okay. You can use a big brush. So have your paints ready. You can have a big brush if you don't like painting with your hands. And um, you will need a small brush, my favorite small brush, the little pointy one. Um, you need to paper, of course you need paper. You can do it on a canvas if you want to. This one is actually one of, uh, it's on like craft paper. So like thick brown paper. You could do it on that if you wanted to. Um, I'm gonna do mine on white paper today. So, oh, and my circles here. If you, if you want to, you can trace around some round objects, so. I have an old coffee cup and I have an empty paint um, water pot that I can place down and trace around if I want to. If you're cool to draw all your circles freehand or you might like to draw ovals, whatever you want to do is, is okay. But if you would rather round circles, grab something to trace around. You'll need a water pot with some water in it because we are using one paintbrush. And down here, I've used a Sharpie or a Posca paint pen to write my name when I finish to sign my artwork. You can also see this one says, I am an artist, because this was our folder um, in one of our term classes. And in week one of every term, we write, I am an artist, because you totally are. So you can do that too if you want to today, I don't mind. First thing though, ah, uh, remember it. I'm remembering, I'm gonna pause so you can go and get your gear, pause. Unpause, yay for me, I remembered. Probably forget something else, but I remember that. Um, we're gonna draw. So I'm gonna draw with my black pencil. You probably should have got a lead pencil, so if you need know, pause me, go get a lead pencil and a rubber if you want a rubber. Um, but given that we're gonna paint over everything, don't worry too much about the rubber. I'm gonna place three circles on my paper. So I might actually trace around this, my empty water pot, and I'm gonna leave some space because I know I need to do petals. So I'm just gonna quickly run a line around there. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit darker so you guys can see. I'm actually going to draw a small one down here, freehand, and then I'm going to do one up here. I need to remember that I'm going to have petals in between. So we've got three circles. My stems are going to be quite long, which I kind of like a lot. So I'm going to put something under there that I've just hit. Oh, blue tack. Oops. It's okay. Line comes straight down, and so it's like a matchstick. My lines are not perfect, that is okay. Actually, I like it better when they're not. 
and to my blue mirror. So double lines all the way down. I could probably draw my leaves in now if I want to. So I'm going to put one, and a leaf is just like a football shape. Or you can go over rainbow, under rainbow. We do that quite a lot. This one I'm going to make on an angle, over rainbow, under rainbow. And it's quite a, a skinny flat rainbow. And this one I'm just going to put one here, and I'm going to put one down here. That's it. Pretty cool. Oh, I think somebody has said, you haven't put any petals on, Christy. <coughs> That's okay. I don't want to put the petals on. I'm going to leave a little bit of space when I do my painting, but not much because I want it to sort of overlap. It's a bit abstracty today. So once you've done that and you have your paint ready, you can decide if you want to paint with your hands. Oh, you need, huh? Oh, did I forget something? <laughs> Forgot. You actually will need some, maybe some baby wipes. And if you don't have baby wipes, you can use paper towel that's wet down, or you can ask your big human if you could use a washer um, or an old rag that's wet so we can wipe our hands in between. You do need that. I feel like, there we go. That's better. That's bending down to stay in the frame. Um, so, here's, what, here's where we get to be a little bit messy and a little bit fun. If you're using your paintbrush, pick up your paintbrush. If you're using your hands, I'm going to use two, two fingers. And I'm going to dip in. I'm going to start with the dark green. So you can use as many as you want. And you don't have to. You don't have to use green in your background. You could pick, pick some colors, so two or three colors out of the same family. So the green, I'm gonna use the green family today. They all get along really well. If you like blue, you can use blue if you like. Yellow, you can use yellow and orange, maybe a little bit of red, but we want our flowers to pop right out. So when you, whatever background color you pick, pick, completely different flower colors. If you want to do the same as me, totally okay, totally. Okay, two fingers with paint. And then I'm just going to smush it onto my page. You can see I'm leaving some spaces. I'm not filling the whole lot in. And I try and leave my two fingers together. I'm dipping in again. And when I smush, I'm just rubbing it like that. Crossways. We don't want any gloopy bits. You can go up and down if you want to as well, if you've got some skinny spaces that need filling. And I can sort of see some white behind my, my green. That's okay, because that means I don't have any gloopy bits. I'm trying to come close to the stems. If I go over them, it doesn't really matter, because I can still see. Uh, a little bit more dark green, smooshing, smooshing, smooshing. It's such a technical word. The smoosh is a technical word. You can see my hands are already messy and I'm so happy about that. I'm going to switch colours now. So I've got this pretty aqua colour. And I've got about that much paint on my hands. And I'm going to fill in the spaces. Start filling in the spaces. If I can see some white, that's okay. But, oh, I went really close to that flower petal. Um, it's not a petal, there's no petals there. The middle of the flower. Smooshy, 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 and I can see my paint. Oh, usually I would tell you not to dip in the same color, but because I've got it on a paper plate today, it's okay to mix it. Some more of this aqua color. I've got to go up and down here because I've only got a skinny space around, dip in again, fill in some white space down here with that pretty aqua colour. I can jump back to the dark green at any time if I want to, but I know I've still got one more green to add, so I'm not going to jump back yet. Okay. 
thing. So go right up to your stem. You might go, some of it might go over the top. It's okay. It's okay. Does not have to be really neat and tidy this one. This is a little bit messy. And where else can I say? A little bit there. Then I'm going to come. Still got dirty hands. I haven't cleaned my hands yet. Don't clean your hands yet. Dipped in the, the light green. I need a bit more than that. Light green. And now I'm going to fill in some more of that white space. So right up to the edges of the flowers. And if you've still got wet paint on here, because I can tell mine's starting to dry already, it will blend and make a beautiful new colour. So I'm overlapping a little bit. Overlap a little bit. Fill it all the way in. My goal is to try and not have any, not very much white space in that background. bit more green and because I've still got that aqua colour on my hands see just blending in with that light green making a really groovy new colour I stand back and have a look I can see where I need to go it's a bit tricky sometimes sideways Sometimes you might only need to use one finger to go down like in those spaces. Sometimes two. How are we going? It's not too bad. I can see a little bit out now. I'm going to actually grab some of that aqua colour because I love it so much. Push it into those corners. And down this stem. It's a little bit far away. If you are not sure if you like paint on your hands, you can try it. And then if you don't like it, don't do it. Use a brush. If you're using a brush and you have a paper plate with paint on it, you don't actually, you can keep it like my hands. You can dip in because it will make cool new colours. So I've just picked up some dark green again, just to go over the top of some of those colours. I'm making sure, and it's hard to spread out. If it's hard to spread out, if it gets tricky to spread out, that means that I don't have any gloopy bits, which is what we want, because it's going to start to dry. I can see it's starting to dry already. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of pretty happy with that, I think. What do you guys think? Cool? Cool. All right, now I can use my wipe to wipe my hands. I've got baby wipes. If you don't have baby wipes, you could um, just use your washer. Use a washer, some paper towel and water it will do fine. And not all the paint's gonna come off. And that's okay, because you've been making fun of. Mine's only making it nice, that's okay. Cool. All right, your next step is, I have got some white on my palette. There's my wipe. This is my wipe. And I've got my pointy brush. And what I want to do, so I've dipped it in. I only dip it in. Don't go all the way up to the silver. But load your brush up. See, it's loaded. Now I'm going to come around really rough. And then I'm going to do my petals. Freestyle it. So there's no lines there, you just get to do your petals, however you do them. I'm not colouring them in. And I'm going to do one flower at a time. You want to know why I'm going to do one flower at a time? Well, that was a really good question by you. <laughs> because I don't want the white to dry so much that it's not going to blend with the other colours. 
So I'm just outlining, it's like it's a rough outline. And then I'm going to put a swirl in the middle, just like a swirly line in the middle. And then I'm going to dip in, I'm going to stay, uh, I'm going to stay with the white. I've just wiped, I rolled it onto the paper plate and I'm dipping in the orange. I need a little bit of water in that. Dip in the orange. Now, here's where the fun starts. Around. So I'm going to swirl around. I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be messy. I'm going to do that swirl. When it hits the white, it turns a different colour, which is kind of cool. It doesn't have to hit the white. It can be bigger than the white. It can be smaller than the white on some of your panels. But it starts to make it look really interesting. Oops. And we are all about interesting art. So I'm kind of working fast. I'm taking my time, but I'm trying to work fast. I'm going to put a line down the middle of those ones. Now I'm going to clean my brush. I want to clean brush this time. So hopefully you'll remember the order. <laughs> Although you don't have to do the same order, that's totally okay. I'm going to pick up, um, what colour will I use now? I'm going to pick up the pink. I've got some hot pink. I've just put a little bit on my palette. And I'm going to do the same again. Swirly line, I'm, not, I'm trying to go away from the orange lines. And now I'm going to go smaller bigger ones, the smaller. It's just we're making, we're starting to make layers of petal. I can see a gloopy bit there, I don't want that. So I've just blended that in. And I'm gonna come down. I'm just gonna put one line down this time, down the center, and one line in those flowers. Because once we start to load up with lots of colors, we'll run out of space. That's okay, totally okay. What color should I do now? I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to dip in this aqua colour, see what happens. Now, before I do, if I mix too many colours and they're all wet, what could happen? I know. My amazing artist know. It will go like poo. It'll go yuck. It'll go mucky, yucky, poo brown colour. So you've got to be careful. Okay. So I'm going to try not to touch any of the other colours with this aqua too much. So you'll notice I'm not doing every single petal this time. I'm doing some in spaces. And this time I'm just going to come down and because I've used the aqua, it's going to blend in a little bit with my background colours. But that's okay. It's looking pretty cool. I feel like it needs yellow. It needs some sunshine brightness, some yellow. So I've got some yellow on my palette now. So I've clean, I'm cleaning my brush and I'm borrowing from my ice cube tray just because I want to keep my colors tidy. Now I'm going to fill in some of these white spaces with the yellow. And the yellow hits the green, it might turn into a different green. And that's okay. And I'm trying to fill some of these middle petals in. I'm going to run a line around some of the outside petals. Yeah, that's looking really flowery. I'm going to run one line down again. And then where I can see some white in those leaves, I'm going to head in and colour that in. I kind of like that flower. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to move to the next flower. Same process. Start with the white. I can wipe my brush on my apron. If you have an apron, that's a really good idea to wear it and to wipe your excess paint. Okay, round we go. Circle. No gloopy bits. Petals. Petal, 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 petal. Petal, 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 petal. 
Feeling that stem. And a length. Oh, and we want swell. Wipe off the brush. Wipe it off. And then you don't have to do the same order as what you just have done, or if you'd like to do different colour flowers, totally okay. I like, I'm going to do the same. Oh, I'm going to try and remember if I do the same. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Around and grabbing some of that white it turns into a really cool new colour. So pretty. I wonder if I move it closer. Is that better? Maybe. Might be better. Lines down our stems, outline our leaf. I keep wanting to call that a flower and it's a leaf. And then, pretty sure I did pink. I need to grab some more pink from my ice cube tray. A little bit of pink. And remember, we're not going over the top of the orange. We're filling in some of those spaces. It, they're messy flowers. They're supposed to be messy flowers. They're really cool messy flowers. You got one line down there. A little bit in there. And this time, instead of the green, I'm going to use the blue. I've got a blue. I'm going to be a bit bold. See what happens. Again, if I mix too, if I mix it too much. So I'm just trying to drag it through. If I mix it too much, it'll go a yucky colour. Have a play around, but try, try not to mix it. So my blue, when it hits the pink, is going purple, which I'm okay with. Even though I'm not great friends with purple, I'm okay with it today. This one needs some, I feel like it needs some yellow as well. Need some yellow sunshine. Actually, I can see fluoro orange in my palette over here. So I've cleaned my brush. I'm going to dip in. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. I'm going to get a bit more yellow. I'm going to show you because it's like, can you see that color? Fluoro orange. Because it's now on my palette, I can dip in both at the same time. Tidy up my brush. Let's see how we go. Oh yeah. That is super cool. I like it so much. I'm gonna come back up and add a little bit of this fluoro orange to this flower up here because it's making it pop out fabulously. Really, really cool. I can see some tiny bits of white space in there. All right, back to this one. Oh, I'm going to hit it with some yellow first. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh. That just happened, and I know if I stay with that on my brush, so it's got yellow, blue, orange, it'll turn green, and then it'll go like yuck. Cleaning it first. So I'm filling some of these spaces that I can see background colour. That's better. Some yellow, and now I can go in with my fluoro. Fluoro orange, or neon. I don't know, does anyone call it, who calls it fluoro? I call it fluoro, because it used to be fluoro in the 80s. I'm gonna bring some there. I need to stand back and have a look. That's looking pretty cool, I like that. I like the blue. So if I want, because I like it so much, I can come up and add it a little bit to this one too. Because I can see it started to dry. So I'm gonna hit some of the dry spaces with that blue. Just so it stands out a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. I like it better. Sometimes art is about experimenting and it's okay to play around with all the different colors. Yeah, that's cool. I like it a lot. All right, cleaning my brush. 
give it a good clean because we've got one more flower to do. Nice clean brush into the white. You guys know what to do. Round our flower. We want to give it some petals. Whoa, gloopy bits galore there. Whoa, settle down, Christy. That's better. Down the stem. This is such a bright and happy picture. You could make tons of these and give them to people. That would make so many people smile. You could even write special words if you wanted to. Okay, wiping off my white brush. Just roll it off into the white. Then, what colour did I use? Orange, thank you. Thank you for remembering. Around we go. When I drag my brush through and, and I can see that it starts to turn light, it means I need to dip in again. I'm just going to do one line of orange this time. And then I did pink. I'm remembering. I just grabbed a little bit more pink. Oh, I forgot to do my swirl with the orange. Okay. Dip back in. I had some pink on there, so it's got a really dark orange. That's super cool. I like it. Happy accident right there. Did I uh, talk to you about happy accidents? I think I have. So in my art class, I'll paint while I do this so it doesn't dry. In my art class, we do not have mistakes. Oh, dun, dun, dun. No mistakes. Can you believe it? We have happy accidents. In art, it's actually impossible to make a mistake in your art. Totally impossible. So in my art class, if you think you've made a mistake or if you think you have Bug it up your artwork. I will go to you. You totally have not. Let's make a happy accident. And I'll say, I wonder what would happen if we add a different colour, if we do something here, we could do something there, and we turn it into a happy accident. And nearly every time, pretty much every time, yeah, I'm gonna go every time, <laughs> every time, we end up with something amazing. Why? Because we are amazing artists. Totally. Totally. Okay, now I've lost my train of thought. I liked the blue, remember? So I think we went pink and then I'm going to go blue. Yeah. I got sidetracked. Sorry, I get sidetracked a fair bit. Sidetracked telling you about a happy accident. So I can see that blue is running through some of those colours and starting to go a little bit mucky, so I'm going to stay clear of it. Look out, other colours. Blue is coming to town. Sorry. <laughs> Generally, I talk like this all the time in our class, so thanks for listening. Oh, down now, Sam. Let's go down here with the blue. Yeah, I like it. Okay, a bit of yellow. Let's get some yellow in there. A bit of sunshine, yellow. Oh, touched it with the blue again. Get out of it, blue. Stay away from the yellow. Because you're so green. You guys knew that, right? Blue and yellow makes green. Side, 
Uh, definitely needs some fluoro orange. I'm loving that today. So, let's hit it with the white spot where it's white. <laughs> oh, I think that was my friend that just went past. She could see me filming, so she didn't interrupt. But that's the how, how cool is that? Fluoro, 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 yeah. That is super cool. How cool. I'm, I'm going to bring it close. I'm, a, I'm excited, so I'm waving, trying to look for a space to put down the palette so I can bring it close for you to have a look at. I really like it. Yeah. So, I can call it done, but not finished. I know that you have heard this before. If you have tuned in before, you know the deal. You totally know the deal. It is done, but not finished. Was it not finished? Because I need to sign it. Oh, I'm looking here. I haven't written a lot part on that one. I'm going to do it on this one though. And in my art class, you may sign it wherever you like. Totally your art. Totally sign it wherever you like. You can, and so when I say sign it, I mean write your name. You can write your first name, your last name, your initials. You, if you want to sign it in your flowers, you're going to have to wait for it to dry. I'm going to sign mine down here. So I'm going to grab a little more Sharpie and I do a love heart and write Christy. Now, remember earlier I said, if you want to, you could write, I am an artist. Of course, that will remind you that you are an artist. You could totally make lots of these and hang them places, give them to people. You could write, you are my sunshine on them. You could write whatever you want. That's so cool. Um, obviously, I've been drinking coffee while we've made art today. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit excited. I'm excited that you guys stopped by to make art with me. Um, I'm excited that you hang out with me. I would love, I am remembering, I would love to see your artworks. So if you ask your big human, please be human, could you send Christy a picture? You can totally send it to me. You can um, send it through Instagram. You can send it through Facebook. Search up Coco's Closet um, on both of those things. Or you can email it to me. What else do I need to do? I, I remembered something while I was saying something. No, I've forgotten again. Um, oh, clean up your space. <laughs> Make sure you leave your space clean. You need a spectacularly spotless space. Then that way, your human will probably let you paint again. So you have to tidy up your space. And um, they will love you for it. And I will love you for it because it made you get to tune in to me again. Um, thank you for coming today. I have had an absolute sunshiny day with you today. Until next time I see you, keep painting, keep creating. See you later.